Hey guys, welcome back to Bush Fish and Cook. Now, we're gonna be doing some cooking today. First time, I've never even tried one before. We cooked the Murray Cod I caught a while back. I'll put a picture up there to show you. When I caught him and he was nice and fresh, we did freeze him, but he should hold up all right. Just gonna do him simply on the grill plate and gonna try and fill it in now. I thought I'll leave it on camera, the filleting, because I'm probably gonna stuff it up, so at least he's gonna have a laugh. All right, let's get into it. Alright, I'm gonna gonna attempt to, to fillet this. I haven't filleted one before. So everyone can tell me what I'm doing wrong. That'll help. For next time. Just go ahead and remove the head first. It's supposed to have some very solid bones, the Murray Cod, so it might not be as easy as I'm hoping. Yep, very tough. Almost there, but... The hardest fish heads I've had to cut off, actually. And he's not even that big, he was right on legal, 55 centimetres. That's why I took him home, I thought, better to take him at that size, than when he gets up to a full grown or right on the legal size limit, because they do get pretty fatty. But they're supposed to be very tasty. Alright. Alright, so the hard part's supposed to be these top couple of ribs. It's supposed to be very hard to get through, so let's see what happens there. Oh, I think this filling knife's actually pretty sharp, guys. I might be getting right through in one go. Sounds like it. You know, that's... Alright. I might just do one side, because this is going to take a bit for me to get through. And then I'll just cut back after I've done the other side. It's a good knife though. Thanks for that one pop. He's given us the knife. I get the biggest fillet. That's alright, you can have the biggest fillet. I don't think I did too bad there, to be honest. Looks like a pretty good fillet. I'll just tidy him up a bit, get the other one done, start getting the cook underway. All right, I don't know if that's looking pretty good. I think it is. I'm gonna cut them up into a few pieces and going to skin them as well. We've still got the skin on at the moment. So we'll skin them and then we'll organize a few different things to put on them. All right, so taking all the skin off them, I think there to be a lot of fish. I don't know why you'd want one any bigger than 55 centimetres, to be honest. This is easily going to feed a whole, whole family. Now, i got a bunch of these strange little fruits. Apparently they have no name in Australia. I got these off a Vietnamese bloke that I work for sometimes and um, he said in their country they pronounce it as limo, but it's spelled L-I-M-O. Apparently, the juice of this is very good on fish. And you don't need much of it, it's very, very strong. Just cut into them a bit to release a bit of the juice. Now once again, I'm gonna go pretty basic because I haven't tried this fish before. So whenever I do a new fish, I always do it pretty basic because I want to know what the fish tastes like. If I want to eat lemons, I'll just cook some lemons. Not about you guys, probably maybe never seen this before. I have it in one of my other videos and I use it on pretty much every fish. Crazy salt. Now, it is the best thing on fish, I swear. You can put it on any meat, but on fish, wouldn't go without it pretty much once, once you find it. And they don't sell it in store, so you have to find it online. You can leave a link in the description if you like. I might do that anyway.
All right, let's turn them all over and do the same on that side. All right, I'm just gonna turn on the heat now. We go somewhere around medium heat, I suppose. Maybe just a touch over medium, because the fillets are pretty thick. Just let that heat up for a minute, and I'll be right back with it. It is non-stick, so I'm not sure we really need it, but just give it a quick rub down of a little bit of butter. Mind the fingers. Oh, it's definitely gotten hot. Now, how many of these can we fit on at once? I'm not sure yet. We get most of it on, I think. Alright, so I'll give them a quick sear on that side, quickly flip them over. Sealing the flavour on both sides. It's a very soft fish, the Murray Cod. It's already falling apart. I'm on the fingers, but I'm trying to keep the fillets intact. Yeah, it smells good. All right, some of these thinner pieces should be getting a bit closer. Well, still all right. Okay, that one can flip. And probably this one. Let's keep it all together. These pieces are almost ready. Very soft fish, this. One of the softest fish I think I've ever cooked. It's already breaking apart. I suppose it's not far off ready, too. It doesn't take long to cook. I'll be honest guys, it's hard to tell with Murray Cod, it's such a soft fish, it, it literally starts falling apart two minutes after cooking it, not even. We don't want to overcook it, so we want to make sure that there's still plenty of... Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Right, we'll start with this little piece. It's got to be ready. Yeah, that bit's alright too. Yeah, but it, you can't see it on the camera, so I'll show you. My nan's gone ahead and fancied up the plate a bit. So do I need to do that in all my videos now? You tell me, guys. I don't know. All these dinner pieces are done, but these two big pieces, they're definitely gonna take much longer. Now, no one here likes the camera, guys, but I'm, I'm gonna try and get everyone to at least do maybe a quick taste test on the camera if we can. So he's better cheer him on. <laughs> Even though they would have already done it. But you can thank him in the comments. 
Nan's just said she tried to taste it off camera. Oh, You know it's ready when it literally just falls apart like that, guys. It's perfect, if you ask me. Okay, switch off the heat. Alright, mum's gonna have a go. First time trying Murray Cod, I think. Is that right, mum? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, yum. Alright, give Nana a taste That's test. She, she's tried them before, but. Oh, she didn't... hasn't tried my recipe I just of did absolutely it nothing. When you had your back turned. Oh, there you go. She's been eating it when no one's looking. Never mind. I need some more. All right, let's quickly. We're going to carry it down to Pop. He's he's not so mobile, so we'll take it down and give him a taste test as well. Mm. Oh, okay. Just. Now my Pop hasn't had Murray cod in probably a few years now. What do you reckon, Pop? Very good, Taka. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we wanted to hear. All right, we're all going to enjoy our lunch now anyway. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you all next time. I hope you enjoyed the cook. Something a bit different than usual and something I hadn't tried before. Hey, wait up. I haven't tried it. No. <laughs> you can see my face in there. I'll hand oh. it to my nan. She'll be able to see me and the... hold it up a little bit more. Yep. There. All right. There we go. Now I'll give it a try. I almost forgot. Don't eat too much. All right, you can see why it's highly regarded as one of the best eating fish. There is no doubt that is awesome. Thanks, guys. Catch us next time.